this point, I feel like we're all friends. Um, this is going to be like a FaceTime chat because I'm doing it from my computer instead of my phone. Um, also, I'm exhausted, so I'm not even going to pretend that I want to sit up and do this. <laughs> um, so, I realized today that I haven't done one of these in a really long time. Um, and I also realized today that I don't think I could ever be a content creator. Uh, cause I'm not good at these. Um, so in the past month or so since I've done this, I have gone back to work, went to the a &M game, like the kickoff game, um, season opener in College Station, and then, um, went to Japan, came back from Japan, and now here we are. So, um... First and foremost, the A&M game was hot, but uh, I lasted to about the third quarter, which was nice, um, and I've been doing treatment still every week, um, like the ozone treatment, not necessarily the EBU, because I just am scheduling my pick now, so I wanted to wait till I got back from Japan to do that. Um, just because I didn't want to travel with it um, in case, like, God forbid something happened, I got infected, anything like that. I just wanted to not take any chances with that. So, um, finally did that this week. Um, so, hopefully I hear back from them soon and we can get that scheduled. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have to have it for very long, um, but I go to Florida again in a month. Um, so, like, a, in a month from today, I meet with the doctor, so October 16th. Um, so, hopefully, things have improved a lot. Um, I feel a lot better um, when I was, like, at the A&M game. I was able to walk for, like, from parking to the stadium, um, was able to stay for till about the third quarter or so, um, but that, it was, like, a lot longer than I thought that I was going to be able to stay, um, which was really, really awesome, and, um, so, yeah, God is just so good, and, all the healing that he's done so far, um, and I know that he continues to do. So, with Japan, um, I was, we booked it a long time ago, like, before I got really, really sick, um, and my aunt and I went, and, um, so we went with this tour group, and, uh, called Affordable World, and they were great. They, like, scheduled the tours, um, came up with the whole itinerary, and, um, like, dealt with the hotels and the travel and all of that. So, basically, all we had to do was show up, which was really nice. Um, so, the weather there was hot and humid, just like Houston, which was a little bit of a bummer, but um, I was able to keep up with pretty much everything up until like the middle endish part of the trip um I didn't bring a lot of my medicine because I didn't want to a pack it and b um with like different countries I didn't want to have to throw anything away or like accidentally bring something that's banned um so I just confirmed with my doctor that that was okay um that I didn't bring a lot of it. Um, I brought the, like, absolutely necessary things. Um, but that even then, that wasn't... I think it was just, like, my thyroid medicine and my anxiety medicine that I brought. It wasn't, like, my bajillion supplements. Um, so now that I'm home for good now, I started taking the ESV little vials again just because those you have to do those, um, every three days and, like, finish them within a certain amount of time. So, I didn't want to start them and then, like, go to Japan and not be able to finish them. So, I just waited, 
Um, and then the monetary herbs, I started again when I got here just because I wanted to knock those all out at one time, not start them and then not finish them. So did that. Um, my pick, I finally got scheduled. I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, and I'm just like really hoping that next month when I go back to Florida, that I am completely healed or 99% healed so we can like cut back on a lot of the supplements, a lot of the treatments, um, and just kind of give my body a break from everything. Um, I'm just tired, you know, and insurance, I'm battling with the insurance company right now because I've like maxed out on benefits um so it just like it sounds like they're not covering my ozone treatments anymore so i need to figure out i have to like call them on monday because i just saw it yesterday or thursday one of the two so i just need to like talk to my hr person and then also the like benefits company themselves and figure all that out um so that's been like stressful just trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do um and like there's just a lot going on but I know like God has a plan for all of this so I'm really trying not to stress about the money and the insurance um because i know that he's got it it's just getting through it um so still like doing therapy and everything um which i'm gonna do probably for the rest of my life um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it right now I, like there's been so much happening but at the same time there's like nothing really changing um so just gonna try to get through these next round uh these next round of medications this next round of testing um and yeah I mean we'll go from there I'll keep you guys updated but thank you for following along up until this point um and we'll chat soon